Now, the future of the girls' tournament in Ashwaubenon after 2014 is still up in the air. Reaction in this area is that something is better than nothing. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz tonight joins us with multiple views. Ben? Tom, as you can imagine, today's news is bittersweet for Rush Center and area tourism officials. They're happy for the arrival of the girls' tournament, yet disappointed the boys' tournament will not be joining it. Optimism was high around the Rush Center after the WIAA made an initial February vote to move its state basketball tournaments to the Green Bay area. However, the door remained open to keep the games in Madison. Green Bay leaders say as more time went by, they knew something was up. You know, we hope to get both of them. You know, we made the pitch for both, but the longer it took, the IA worked with the university. Um, we wondered what was going to happen, and when we heard about this, um, we're happy to have the girls' tournament coming. PMI President Ken Wachter says the Rush Center's capacity was likely a deciding factor in the WIAA's decision. There was certainly nothing the Cole Center did that we couldn't replicate and do it better. Um, we just don't have 17,000 seats for basketball. The Rush Center's nearly 10,000 seat capacity for basketball will be able to accommodate the girls' tournament. Tourism officials predict it will bring about 40,000 people to the area with an economic impact of about $3 million. Since this rate's right up there is one of the largest uh, that our community could host, you know, short of, of certainly a Packer game. The Green Bay area's gain is the Madison area's loss. However, leaders of the capital city realize it could have been worse. The boys' tournament's bringing about $6 million a year out in a weekend, so think about that. Just over a weekend, $6 million into our community. At the Rush Center, improvements could be coming for the girls' tournament. A new scoreboard is possible, along with other upgrades. Officials say there is pressure to impress with only a two-year deal for the games. And I really believe it is an audition for us, and I believe once we get them here for two years, um, they're not going to leave. You can find more coverage of the decision on fox11online.com. You'll be able to watch the WIA's news conference explaining the change.